righty, lovely event we have here, don't we? Yeah? Again, I would just like to say for our guests and sponsors, my name is Jared Hernandez, the National LULAC Youth President. I was elected in Salt Lake City, Utah. And briefly, I just wanna tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am 19 years old. I am a first generation college student and I just completed my first year at the University of North Texas. But while battling through college, I would like to tell you about the great things that we've done on the youth board. And one of those things is increasing our membership by 25% this year, 25%. We also executed three regional conferences in California, Washington, and Texas. Again, and it is all thanks to everyone here in this room, because I myself alone did not do that work. It is thanks to you community leaders, you activists, who recruit these members, who do everything you can to support the Hispanic community, because that's what we're here for. This is LULAC, we are united, and this is what we continue to fight for. This is what we need to fight for. A lot of the times we hear the youth are the future, but the youth are now, the youth are now. We need to start saying that. We are not the future, we are now. Many of the accomplishments that have gone through the United States, like Facebook, social media, that has been done by college students. We're almost there, we are there. So continue all of your work. This is what this night is for, to celebrate the work that you have done and will continue to do when you grow old. So. And I have two people to thank before we give the awards out. Uh, the first is to National President, Mr. Roger C. Rocha. You cannot imagine the respect I have for this man. How amazing he has, how hard he's worked this year. He's given us support financially and also <laughs> emotional support. I look up to this man very dearly because in my life, I didn't have a father figure. And I thank you, Mr. Rocha, for giving me someone to look up to. And of course, the last person would have to be a very special lady. She is, this is her first vacation since my sister was young, little. Uh, younger than me actually and my sister's 30 now so it's been a long time and she spent her vacation here at the national convention which is amazing because she could go anywhere but she came here she came here to support me to support the youth and that is something that she continues to do, do even though she's not a LULAC member and that's the people we need to join LULAC those people who do things without asking and that person is my mother, Teresa Hernandez. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the award recipients, the first will be Man of the Year. And this award will be presented to Mr. Roger Velasquez from Galveston, Texas. will be presented to a young lady. This award is called Woman of the Year, and this award goes to Christina Delgado from Oklahoma City. And now, Mr. Lulac, 
This is very special to me because last year I was national Mr. Lulac, so I am awarding this award to my successor, and that is none other than the Mark Anthony Sandoval from San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> Alrighty, and his partner in crime, the sweetheart of the year, is going to none other than Nadine Martinez from Dallas, Texas. The next award will go to Scrapbook of the Year. And for the scrapbook, each council has to submit a book with all of the volunteer activities they've done throughout the year. And this scrapbook was beautiful. You have to see it after the banquet. This award goes to Irma Ronhell from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Voy a escribir mil versos de amor y a regalarte un millón de flores. Pa' que te enamores, te escribo cartas de ilusión con tinta de mi corazón. Pa' que de mí te enamores, te daré todo lo que me pidas. Pa' que te enamores. Uh, the next award is for the membership of the year. This is the council that, ha that has grown the most from last year to 2016. And this award also goes to Irma Rangel. <laughs> The last award that I will be presenting is my favorite, and that is Council of the Year. This was a very tough decision that the award committee had to decide, but we did select, drum roll, no? <laughs> Council number 1124 from San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> Regalarte un beso. Quiero que me dejes de mostrarte una vez más que mis palabras solo dicen la verdad. Ay, quiero. And this is a special award. This is my last award. It is not from the committee. This is a special award that I would like to give to a lady who has served five years as national VP for youth. She has worked very hard with us, and she's not only been like a mother to me. She's been my best friend, my partner in crime. I couldn't tell you how much I love her, even though she drives me crazy sometimes. <laughs> I hold her very dear to my heart. And as you know, that is Miss Ana Valenzuela Estrada. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, you know, I want to honor some individuals that started being youth, then they became young adults, and then have, you know, and then now they are, they're adults in this beautiful organization of mine, of yours, the League of United Latin American Citizens. Mr. Frank Urtiaga. Can you please stand? Ms. Carolina Muñoz. Mr. Gabriel Rosales. Mr. David Villa Hernandez. Mr. Richard Estrada. And our beautiful, wonderful president, El Presidente, El Señor Rocha, Rogelio Rocha, Jr. We are so proud of these individuals, because you can see this organization, you know, really creates from birth to adulthood. 
At this time, you know, I am honored, you know, to present to you two awards to two individuals that they have excelled during the year, both in community work, in working with our youth, in working with the community at large, not only in their state, but also in the whole United States of America. At this time, I would like to ask Ms. Jessica Toledo that she's going to be part of the Hall of Fame for the youth. Ms. Jessica Toledo, por favor. And the second, you know, award, but not the last one in his life, is to my partner in crime, you know, the Honorable Jared Hernandez, the president of LULAC Youth for the year 20, <laughs> 2016. Thank you. As you all know, I have worked, lived, you know, was delighted, worked with beautiful individuals during this trajectory of path of my life. Mr. Brent Wilkes, his beautiful staff that has helped us so much to really create, you know, what we have, you know, created all this year. Mr. Wilkes, please tell all your staff and thank them for everything and all the support that they have given the youth during this year and the past years. They are wonderful individuals. They really think about what the youth are. I would like to thank Berta Ortiaga, my other partner in crime, for working with me, you know, in supporting me for the best thing, our youth. Also to my national board, my executive board for supporting me for helping us to grow in councils all over the United States, to the supervisors of all those youth, to all my brothers and sisters in LULAC, and especially to my familia. You are my familia, but I do have a familia. I have a son, I have a daughter. My son Richard, which is the Arizona LULAC State Director. My daughter Rikiana, that she's a LULAC member. My grandkids and my my, my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law, and also, you know, we are growing our own in our family. Richard Estrada, that he is a LULAC Council. To all my brothers and sisters in LULAC, God bless you. Thank you for all the opportunities that you have given me these this, uh, five years. I really commend every single individual. And I want to thank my president, my president, Roger Rocha, for supporting us, not only financially, but also emotionally and being there. Mr. Wilkes, to you, thank you too. Muchísimas gracias. Muchas bendiciones a todos y que Diositos me los cuide. <laughs>